Hey there guys! It's my birthday um, and I'm treating myself to a short video today because I was gonna film like a vlog but I just don't feel like it. Um, today is just gonna be a short little experiment. Um, in some of my recent videos I've been complaining a little bit about uh, the washi tape. This washi tape that sticks to the opposing page. Um, I've mentioned that I got this at Target. It's this shiny brown like tree grain, uh, wood grain tape and it leaves a sticky residue that causes the pages to stick together. Um, so I got a comment uh, from Granaboo03 who is very sweet to point out that um, I might be able to get that residue off with rubbing alcohol. So I'm going to give that a shot. I've got it here. Um, you can tell it's legit. This is the bottle of rubbing alcohol I use when I do my uh, gel manicures, which I think I might do a video of sometime how I do my gel manicures, but this is just normal polish on right now. Anyway, this is uh, an old acetone bottle that I've put some rubbing alcohol in. And so I'm gonna pour a little bit of that into the cap. So that's right here. And then I've got a Q-tip. Uh, I believe this is even a Q-tip brand Q-tip. Um, so I'm not sure. I think I'll start by wiping it on the tape itself. Most of the residue I think is over here on the page. But I'm gonna have to be careful and maybe erase this stuff and bring it back because I'm pretty sure this is like water soluble ink and I'm pretty sure it'll um, smear with the alcohol but I'm sort of letting it evaporate so it's not too wet. I don't know if this will ruin everything forever or what, but let's see. I'm not really sure. Like I can see some little, you probably can't see. Um, the way that the light is hitting, I can see some sort of little crumbly bits that are like not reflective like the rest of the tape is. Um, and I'm not sure if they're coming off or not. They might be. I've got the Q-tip a little bit wetter now. At least on the tape, I don't have to worry about it like ruining the paper. Let's see, I think that's working. I'm not sure if what's coming off is. Oh, definitely that's. I was looking at the shine and not the actual color. So I've wiped off some of the color from the tape, if you can see that right here. Here, I'll zoom in. There you go. Um, the tape itself didn't feel super sticky. Over here you can possibly see um, maybe you can see there's little bits of brown um, you know like the Whatever, the sh I'm, I'm blanking on the name for the shiny stuff. Um, <laughs> but the the shiny metallic uh, coating on the tape has sort of rubbed off in little bits of brown chunks. So I'm gonna give this a shot. Maybe I can let the Q-tip dry a little bit. And let's see, I'll go right here, see if that comes off. Hmm. Getting the paper wet a little bit. I think I tell I think that might be working. I won't be able to tell right away because I don't want to close this until it's dried. But I will film a little bit of a review at the end of this. This whole process. Fortunately, the alcohol does dry very quickly. Okay, yeah, I think, I, I think it's coming up. Wipe. Um, yeah. It's not uh, showing up on the Q-tip as much. Like this side, it's just all brown. Uh, this side, it's not really. It's gonna keep working at this and probably speed up the camera a bit for your viewing pleasure.
All right, um, it definitely feels like a lot of stuff has come off. Um, let's see, everything dries really quickly because, yeah, it's very volatile. Oh, uh, liquid there. And yeah, I am feeling sort of uh, optimistic that this will have worked. There's still a little bit around here. I'm not convinced yet whether this is uh, gonna smear the water-based ink yet because it's alcohol. I haven't studied chemistry since high school. I don't know if uh, see. water soluble stuff is soluble by alcohol. Someone knows better than me. It looks like it's safe, but it's hard to tell. And then I, I think here, um, you can see this little backwards S is the header on the next page. Um, I think just applying a little bit too much of the alcohol there caused the ink. This is a um, fine liner, the what's some called? Stabilos, my Stabilo pens. Um, that's also water based ink. I think it just sort of caused that to sort of seep through a little bit, it loosened it up and brought it through. Um, so you can see that a little bit better. The header that says stretches is slightly smudged, but not a big deal. And everything just feels smoother. So I think I got most of the residue off. Um, and I think it's dry now. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this up and nice and tight. And I'm gonna leave it there for about 10 or 15 minutes and then I'll come back and let you know how it worked. Okay, moment of truth. Um, this has probably been about 20 minutes. I was editing the first half of the video um, and got a little carried away. So let's see. Uh, it's at the checklist tab here. I think it worked. You see, I didn't have to peel this apart. I mean, you saw how bad it was. Um, and it gets like that like every single time. Um, and now it seems to be opening and shutting with no problem. So yeah, I'd say it works. And I would probably recommend, um, if you have this tape and you have the same problem or a similar tape with a similar problem, um, I think next time I'll probably try using the rubbing alcohol right away instead of waiting for it to get all residue-y on the uh, opposite page first, because maybe that would save me all of these months of hassle and uh, being afraid to open this page because it'll make this terrible ripping sound. You can see there's even a little bit the opposing page that's just stuck to the tape here. Um, that was there before I started doing this today. Um, could have saved myself all that heartache. So yeah, I would recommend this uh, method to try it yourself if you are having sticky issues with some sticky tape. Thank you so much to Granaboo03 who made that comment. I really do appreciate that. And uh, yeah, if you ever see me struggling unnecessarily, maybe I can make a video out of it and give you your credit. Um, so thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys. Um, the next video I'm doing is actually going to be tomorrow night. Uh, if any of you watch my Sims videos when those come up, I know that a lot of the audience doesn't really overlap, but if you're interested in that at all, um, it's the 25th episode of my Sims series, and so we're gonna be doing a live stream. So that's gonna be tomorrow, Monday, the uh, 20th of November at 5.30 p.m. Pacific time. Uh, that's standard time now. We've had our daylight change. Um, and yeah, I'm just gonna be playing for a few hours and go ahead, feel free to stop by and uh, join in. I'll, you know, if we have enough viewers commenting, then maybe you'll be able to name the baby or something, but that should be fun. Um, otherwise, I also post videos on Thursdays and Sundays. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye.